Sport. Sandro rolls him into the corner. Green flag. Well, Robbie Conway didn't wait long, did he? He jumped out to an early lead, heading into corners one and two. Much better start tonight than we had last night. They tear it down through half the track. It's Conway and Sandro have it. not quite at the top of the ladder. Brock Beater of the 48 machine sits back. He watches the show for the first place battle. Side by side up the front straightaway is Conway and Sandro neck and neck to the top spot of the racetrack. Well, they all got called to the principal's office last night, Nick, so a lot better start here tonight. And Sandro on the outside, down on the inside is Conway. Here they come out of the corner. And Isaac hangs on to the lead with 18 to go. And this is what you want to start your feature race on the final night of the 2016 season. How about a battle for the lead, a battle for third, a battle for fifth. We're doubled up, we go two by two as we send it around the 3 8 mile racetrack here at the playground. And it's Sandro, the winners are down to 17 laps remaining. Isaac Sandro hasn't been in victory lane yet this year, he just loved to. Running a brand new motor in that 12S, and now here comes Conway. Last night's winner, he's going for eight tonight. And Sandro tried his hardest not to give up the lead, but Conway takes this the flag stand. 16 to go. Robbie Conway last night's victory lane said that he credits all his success to that Taylor chassis, the Jeff Taylor special. And he also runs the Mopar engine in that thing. He likes to see that also succeeding. Boy, that's an understatement. Seven wins in 2016. That's the most out of anyone. He was cracked out a 73.3 average mile an hour lap. Conway in a frenzy down the back straightaway. Sandro running in second, Brock Peter in third as they come out of the corner. Here live on Dark TV, 14 laps to go. And it's not gonna be long until Robbie Conway works his way through the marker guard. He's approaching lap traffic quickly. Boy, Conway's got that thing dialed in, doesn't he? Absolutely, he's looking really good right now. The rest of the field, hoping there's at least one yellow in this thing. After last night, Lover Knocker of the Year Award. This one going pretty smoothly. We've got battles all over the racetrack. There's one right in front of the grandstand. Justin Bieber getting into it with that 33 car. Everybody stays forward. Off we go. And it's Conway and Sandro that still leads. Conway's running away with this thing as he knocks off his first victim. That's Chris Dickey from the 54. Yeah, he's into the lap traffic now. He gets around sneaking clear for a little while. Sandro, Peter, Justin Morgan, and Bella. Oh, hard hit. The spin was in corner number four. You see the damage. Is that Luke Crow, the 47 it was, that got the worst of that. Conway going for back-to-back -back night. Takes the green flag. I've got my eye on the 47K of Grow to see if that race car can continue to soldier on. And Brock Peter give Robbie Conway a run at the front of the pack. Conway's dominant here in 2016 has been unbelievable. There's that piece of Grow's race car went off and sitting right over at corner number four, right on the front straightaway. Oh my, good call. Battle on the racetrack over in corner four. There's the yellow flag. From Cox City. There's the green flag. And Robbie Conway right where he wants to be out front. Brock Beater chases him into one and two. So does Kevin Eklund and Brady Biella. Eklund having a nice run of that 63 machine. How about Shane Williams for the 99X? He's having a nice run. His best so far in a scoreboard here at the playground of Power. Yep, going for the legend car. This brand new car that he got totaled the very first night he brought it out. Now he's bought this car from Biella, and he's looking pretty good. Have you seen Shane Williams' legend car in 2016? The paint scheme on it is the Grave Digger monster truck. So it's awesome. Conway down the back straightaway. 
trying to prove his late season dominance. He comes past the flag stand. Brock Beater, Eklund, Miela, Keller and Henderson. Well, Larry, if I think, if you thought there was any question, rather, coming into tonight or into any night here at the playground of power who one of the tops of this division as one loss has been, I think Robbie Conway is putting a big exclamation point on another fantastic season. How he didn't win the four loss this year blows my mind. you got to keep it keep in mind, Lonslager and Peter both had great runs, but Conway, if he hasn't won a race, he didn't finish a race. Basically, he's been sensational. Been right up there with Robbie Roselli and those other guys as well. In fact, this would be his eighth day name victory here at the playground, I believe, if he hangs on tonight. That is correct. Not only would it be number eight, when you look at his top ten, top five, 14 top ten, 12 top five. That's plenty. Now he's in the lap traffic. He'll try to get past Brandon Johnson. On the outside, Johnson's going to slide up in front of him. Look out! Conway gets around. That was a little scary for the leader. Brock Beater in second. Eklund comes across the third. Biela fourth. Philip Keller in fifth. Excuse me, Kyle Keller. And now Conway's got to get around seeking. He's way up in the marble. Three laps to go. Brock Beater tries to get around Braden Johnson. Conway successfully around Seekings in the back. Takes it into three. Brock Beater's in second, Kevin Eklund third. Brady Biela fourth, Kyle Keller in fifth. Conway clicks it down to two laps to go. 67.8 mile an hour last time around for Conway. The high raised green flag was shown last time. And this time he'll get the white. One more time for Robbie Conway. Conway is going to try to sweep Motor Magic. Brock Beater in second. Conway just has three and four to negotiate. As he comes out of the corner, Motor Magic belongs to Robbie Conway. Brock Beater comes across in second, Kevin Eklund is third, Brady Biela fourth, and Kyle Keller gets a top five. Ladies and gentlemen, he did it again. Back to back Motor Magic, his eighth A main victory here this year at the playground out of West Hope, North Dakota. Let's hear it for Robbie Conway.